the dress rehearsal for an apocalypse. It's 10 a.m. in Kim Il-sung Square. North Korea is preparing its people for an attack by the United States. Air raid drills are a fact of life here. The citizens of Pyongyang flee to the city's underground. They believe the nuclear threat comes from the outside. It was the US that was the first to talk about a preemptive nuclear strike. My minder Mr. O oh, took me down to the dimly lit underground. His views are typical of the siege mentality here. Do the Americans say that they will use nuclear bombs to our country? No, they do not. They do not. But your government says that they, they say that. Here in the world's most isolated nation, fear of foreigners is only matched by devotion to the Kim dynasty. And this is the straw cutter. And this is the straw man. It was made by the grandfather of the President Kim Il-sung. Their reverence reaches its zenith here, at the birthplace of the country's founder. At least once in their life, North Koreans are meant to come and pay homage. The, the, your leader, um, Kim, Kim Jong-il. Yeah. What? what is your feeling towards him? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think the great general Kim Jong Il is my father, also our father. To the outside world, the North Korean mind is closed and unfathomable. Few get out, even fewer are allowed in. As one of the first Western journalists to gain access since the start of the crisis, I find myself trying to grasp the distorted Orwellian reality of North Korea. Here, nothing is what it seems. I'm watched, followed, and fed propaganda. If there's any doubt that North Korea is prepared for war, you only have to read the local newspaper, the Pyongyang Times. This, this is a quote from Kim Kyung Ho, of the, who is the first secretary of the Central Committee of the Kim Il-sung Socialist Youth League, and who says, Eight million Korean young people are fully ready to become human bullets and suicide bombs. Even if the enemy is allied to attack us, we will never be frightened. We are sure of our final victory. But why are they so ready for war? What makes them so fearful? I was taken to the victorious Fatherland Liberation Museum for an answer. If the U.S. attack us again, start the, start the war again on this peninsula, all the Korean people but will struggle against the U.S. crisis heroically. But there will be us. terrible suffering again. <laughs> no problem. She showed me examples of alleged U.S. atrocities, including outside biological warfare Korea. said to have been committed during the Korean War. Outside of Korea, people think that um, North Korea also used, um, or also has, chemical and biological weapons. Is North that Korea? possible? No, never. No. No. The country is proud of its American trophies from the Korean War, a conflict that has never officially ended. This was shot down by our ladies. By women your ladies? Soldiers. Yeah. And women and aircraft hunting team. And now, the country is on a heightened state of readiness. We'll just have a warm-up activity to start with to get the speaking English. Despite the endless angry rhetoric against the US, it is accepted that here in this elite university, tomorrow's leaders must learn the language of the enemy. <laughs> But even here, these future diplomats and politicians have to study in their overcoats. The reality for most North Koreans is a daily fight against cold and hunger. In temperatures of minus 20 degrees, the city is starved of electricity. In Pyongyang's high-rise apartments, that means no heating, no water and no lifts. What is the government's plan to solve this crisis? Next up, the energy ministry. 
North Korea says it restarted the nuclear plant at Yongbyon last month to solve the energy crisis. The international community suspects the real purpose is to produce atomic bombs. We are definitely, definitely using it for power supply. It is absolutely, absolutely used for peaceful purposes. But he says one reactor is not enough to meet the country's energy needs. Even as we talked, the unreliable power supply was affecting the lighting. We need five atomic power plants to produce the necessary 255,000 kilowatts of electricity. I can't understand why you would question me about whether this is really for electricity generation. It mustn't be delayed. We can't bear to watch our people suffer. But is it compassion or is it self-protection that's driving the regime's nuclear program? Aid agencies say conditions are far worse outside of Pyongyang, but I wasn't allowed to find out. We drove south to the demilitarized zone where the North's Million Man Army comes face to face with 600,000 South Korean soldiers and 37,000 US troops. The military takes priority in North Korea. How close does it believe the country is to war? If the Americans keep on squeezing us, do you think we'll sit back and take it? But if they attack us, we'll attack America in a very unexpected way. Paranoid, bizarre and belligerent, North Korea makes itself impossible to trust. Few countries are so desperately in need of international support, yet the regime seems much more intent on maintaining its people's isolation and turning its back on the rest of the world.